Before we get started, we want you to know three things. First, there is not a one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to homelessness. Second, as we are Visalia Rescue Mission, we can only speak with confidence to Visalia, not all of California or beyond. But speaking of California, we have 21% over 115,000 individuals experiencing homelessness right here in our state, which is the highest unsheltered homelessness rate in the nation. And finally, without a doubt, we know you are full of compassion. The purpose of this video is to discuss what's healthy, what's harmful, so we can discover help that helps. So let's get started. Number one, it is absolutely crucial to define the word homeless. If we are to have any amount of success in providing relief to someone experiencing it, quick note, we prefer these definitions from fixing broken windows. The first category are the cannots. They are the seriously mentally ill and addicted. Statistically, this is the largest group. Second, the will nots, those for whom living on the streets has become a lifestyle. And last, the have nots are the genuinely poor who are on the streets due to some emergency, need temporary shelter, and who will move back into the mainstream. This group is the original bread and butter, if you will who benefited greatly from groups like Visalia Rescue Mission. But times have changed and the need for greater services is increasing. Okay, there are those who cannot be independent and self-sufficient. If you offer them a home, uh, an apartment, let's say, with a pantry full of food, they wouldn't be able to manage it. They would end up in the same situation. Which brings us to number two. We all want what we want when we want it. This is true of all of us. We want that food, we want to watch that movie, we want to date and marry that person. So as long as people are people who don't know how to deal with rejection, disappointment, or loneliness, and people continue to respond to life's issues with avoidance and ultimately addiction for many, homelessness will continue to be a problem. Moving on to number three, and this may be the hardest. If we ever want to see people change and our neighborhoods improve, no more room service. A homeless person really needs help, but they need so much more than just a few dollars or a meal. They need a way to get their whole life back. For cannots, will nots, and have nots, a handout is the last thing they truly need, even though it is the first thing that's wanted. And in general, those in need know exactly how to get you to enable them by giving them the wrong kind of help. You're not helping them, you're enabling them. You're um, making them want to stay out in the street. Or like, for instance, that one lady, you know, that's my job, that's my job. Of course, they're gonna stay out there. They have a warm bed to sleep in, but yet they're telling you that, hey, I'm hungry, you know? I'm cold at night, please give me money. As well-meaning as we are, when we deliver what's not really needed, we actually keep people like Dawn, like this, longer. Dawn needed more than a handout because she used it to stay in her addiction. I had been using for heroin, cocaine, and meth for like 30 years. And the last two of it, I was homeless. Not only homeless, and hopeless too. I just didn't see a way out and then heard God, you know, was, I, I just heard that like he was all powerful and he could do things in our lives. So I asked him to help end my miserable life. And I wanted to die really, but that's not the way he did it, he, he had other things in mind. He changed it to where he brought me to the House of Hope. I was homeless uh, roughly about five years. I was at the Walmart parking lot over on, um, on Noble. I was eating a sandwich there and somebody walked up to me and he says, hey, you look homeless. And I told him I am. And he says, don't, don't spend your money on a sandwich. I know where you can get a free one. And he walked me over all the way from Mary's Vineyard to here. And from the street outside the door here, he pointed towards the shelter and he says, at three o'clock there, you can sign up for a bed. And I asked him, I said, well, why don't you stay here? And he says, because I like to drink and I, and I use drugs. You know, I get high and they won't allow me to do that. Here's a great quote. Food in our society is a chronic poverty need, not a life-threatening one. And when we respond to a chronic need as though it were a crisis, we can predict toxic results. Dependency, deception, and disempowerment. We couldn't agree more. So what are we doing about it? That's a great question. On April 1st of last year, for the first time ever, we stopped serving lunch to the community. We needed to throw a wrench in our own cycle of services, which was stay the night, 
eat three meals, stay the night, eat three meals, stay the night, eat three meals. You can see where this is going, and it was time for a change. Likewise, on January 1st of this year, we limited the number of nights an overnight guest can stay at our shelters, 30 nights in and 45 nights out. If a guest meets with a case manager on a weekly basis, they can receive up to 90 nights. Case managers help our guests navigate available services to remedy their specific situation. That's three months out of the year in an emergency shelter. Finally, we extended our Life Change Academy, which is our residential recovery program, from eight months to 12 months. Our desire is to give our residents the best possible chance for success upon graduation, and four extra months provides that for them. Let's wrap up with number four. Inconvenience can be an incredible catalyst for change. When I was in my addiction, uh, I would hustle make money off people or whatever I could do to supply my habits and still stay at a motel room that night because people would just hand me money and go the next day and do it again. I ended up losing my children to CWS. That was the worst day of my life, but the best day of my life because it changed my whole life. So how can we help, you may be asking. Well, this is you, and you, and you again. Visalia Rescue Mission is one of many serving the poor and homeless in our community. We encourage you to connect with one of the many service organizations in town and give of your time, talent, and treasure. We need you to give help that helps. And today is a great day to begin.